Do you want more reach on your social media pages? In this video, I'll share with you how to add your favorite social media icons on your WordPress site so readers can share your content. Let's get into the video. Adding social media icons and linking them to your social media pages can generate a ton of organic traffic to your website. So in this video, I'll show you how you can add your favorite social media icons onto your WordPress where you can see icons at the bottom of your post and floating ones on the side. Before we start, make sure you like and subscribe onto our channel for more videos like these. Number one, check your theme. Before anything else, check if your theme supports social media icons. Currently, I'm using Ocean WP. So to add social media icons on Ocean WP, all you do is you go to your dashboard you click appearance, you say customize, you scroll down to top bar, you click on social, and when you scroll down, you'll see the social media list. Let me show you with Twitter, for example. All you do is you go to your Twitter page, you copy and paste the link, you paste it, and we also, let's go to our Facebook too. You copy and you paste the Facebook link. And before you publish or anything, you will see over here that your social media links are placed right on top. Once you are done adding all your links that you want to add onto your WordPress site, you just click on to publish. And when you go to the front end and you refresh, you will see that your social media links are right over here. So when you click on Twitter, it will link to your Twitter page. And that's how you add your social media icons using your WordPress theme. Number two, using social media icons widget. Now let's say your WordPress theme does not give the options to add social media icons. What you can do is you can add a social media icons widget onto your WordPress site. What you do is you go to your dashboard, you go to plugins, you say add new plugins, the widget that you can use for your social media icons is social media icons widgets. And the theme that you want is the social media icons widget and block by WP Zoom. You click install now and you activate. Once installed, you go to appearance, you say customize. You go to your widgets menu. You pick the widgets that you want or the footer that you want. So for now, I will say footer one. And then what you do is you say add block. And then all you do is search social. So this is the widget that we installed. So you click on social icons block. And you'll see that this plugin already comes with social media icons. If you want to add a Facebook link, you click onto the icon and you will see the place where you can add your link. And when you're done, you just say apply and you do the same for the rest. If you want to add more icons, you click over here, you say edit and you'll see all the icon options that you can add. So let's say you would like to add a TikTok icon. You just say save and you'll see that your TikTok icon is added over here. So if you scroll down, you'll see that all your social media icons are right over here. And you can feel free to move your icons however you like. Let's say you want it on top, you just click the up arrow and let's say you want it at the bottom or keep it at the bottom, you leave it there. You can choose the alignment if you want to center it. This is how it will be centered. And if you're happy with your layout, all you do is click publish. Number three, social sharing buttons. Adding social sharing icons can help visitors on your website share your content easily to other people. To do that, you can use a plugin called Simple Share Adder. So you head over to your dashboard, you say plugins, add new plugins. In the search button, you type in Simple Share Buttons Adder. And then this is the plugin you want. So you say install now, you activate. Once installed, all you do is go to settings, go to simple share buttons and you will see the preview of how your buttons will look. So all you do is if you'd like to add more buttons, let's say Tumblr, for example, you drag it down or if you don't want to add it, you put it back over there. 
and then you scroll down and you have an option of the location where you'd like to add your share buttons. Let's say you'd like it on your home page as well as your pages. And then you choose where you'd like the text to be, whether it's before, I mean after or before or both. But I will say before and over here, this is where you choose where to hide your social share buttons. So all you do is add the title and separate it by commas. And this is where you can style your social share buttons. You can make it round or you can make it square or rounded edges. That's totally up to you. I'm going to leave it as that. Then you can choose whether it can be on the left or the right alignment. And you can choose the width as well as the height. You can change the call to action as to share now. If you want to increase the font size, all you do is click the up arrow and you'll see that the font size has increased. And if you want to add counters, all you do is say on and you will see the social media counters, which is the number of times people have shared your post. And then once you're happy, you click on to save. You refresh. And you should see your social media icons right over here. Number four, floating social media icons. To add a floating bar, all you need to do is you go back to your settings and then you go to share bar. And then what you do is you keep all your settings the same. You say on to share bar. You choose where you want the location to be. I will say home page and pages. And once you're done, you click save. Then you go back to your front end, you refresh, and you'll see that your floating bar is right over here. And when you scroll up and down, it scrolls down with the page. So this is how you add your social media icons onto your WordPress site. Let us know in the comments below which method worked for you. Join our newsletter so you never miss a WordPress tip. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.